Welcome to Fabio's Kitchen. We are cooking your favorite dishes with an Italian twist. I'm excited about this dish, guys. Today we're making spaghetti with zucchini and salmon. This is a great pasta, guys. The zucchini and the spaghetti will look like they're both kind of ribbon shape, and the salmon will be seared first and then shredded into the pasta sauce. First and foremost, we have to start cooking our salmon. I set a pan aside there. The fire is not too high, just enough to get the salmon cooked on both sides. I got my salmon fillet, skin on, skin off. It doesn't really matter. Um, for this dish, you all have to get the skin off. I have skin on right here. I will clean it as soon as it's cooked because the skin will peel right off. Season your salmon. One side and two side there. I'm gonna raise the fire a notch. Now, it's all about the zucchini sauce. First and foremost, a little bit of olive oil there. Second, three, four cloves of garlic. In there. Now the zucchini. How are you gonna do this? It's very simple. You're gonna get a potato peeler. And you're gonna go around, and when you start to see the seed, you're gonna stop. Basically, you're doing ribbon. It's like a zucchini fettuccine, which I do this. This is actually a great way to do it. It's very simple, it's very quick. And it's super, super good looking. Now, I don't need a whole of a lot of it, so I'm gonna stop right here. Beautiful zucchini. Fettuccine, you know how good this is? You know everybody talk about zucchini squash and spaghetti squash. This is a great way of doing it, all right? There. Now I'm gonna put my spaghetti in the water. Fan technique. Perfect. There you go. I'm gonna add a little bit of butter to the salmon. Now at this point, here's what we're gonna have. We're gonna have the zucchini cooking right here, like if they were ribbon. You're gonna have the salmon right here, and I'm gonna turn it because I only want to cook it, not all the way through it. The pasta is there. Now we're gonna start to add the other ingredient. We're gonna add a little bit of oregano. Now, easy with the oregano, because oregano is very, very strong. It's a strong spice. That's why Oregano is a strong herb, not a strong spice, I'm sorry. That's why you usually add it dry, because you control the intensity and the quantities a lot better. Fresh oregano, it's delicious, but it's very pungent, you have to be careful. Now, a little bit of parsley. Salt. Bit of pepper. Now, if you see here, the garlic is nice and roasted, and it almost smash and crush. You can crush your garlic in the sauce. It's perfect. All right, 
I'm gonna get the sauce aside and I'm gonna start to cook my salmon on higher heat. So by the time that the pasta is ready, the salmon will be cooked. I got two half lemon on the side. So here's what we got. The salmon skin, look. Oh. Now usually salmon skin is delicious and I love to eat it. But in this instance, I can't use it because it's gonna mess up my sauce. So now, the tuchin is there. Salmon is there. Here's what I'm gonna do now. Check this out. Zucchini goes here. The salmon butter olive oil with the salmon flavor goes into the zucchini. I'm gonna start to shred my salmon a little bit. Cook it for another minute or two. The salmon will be shredded in the pasta. So this is almost like an entree pasta, one big protein, carbs, veggies dish. A little bit of vegetable broth or seafood broth if you have available, that's great. Of course, vegetable broth will be milder seafood flavor. Seafood broth will be higher intensity seafood if you like that. Let's say there. Keep cooking it. And as I'm adding the pasta here, I will also add the salmon all together. Now, salmon in there. Check this out. Spaghetti. Little bit more seafood broth. Little bit more butter to thicken up that sauce. Now, all we gotta do is to let the sauce reduce and the dish is ready. All right, guys, once the sauce is about to reduce, squeeze a lemon. Look at this. Smells delicious, guys. Zucchini ribbon, spaghetti, and two nice fillet of salmon. This dish, it's a perfect one-stop shop meal in one plate. Thanks again to Fabio's Kitchen. Hey guys, if you like this dish, please share it and subscribe to my channel.